All right, Coach, last time out, you guys were up at uh, Wisconsin. Uh, tough tournament, tough course. Uh, what are your thoughts on how your team played? Uh, I don't think we adjusted to the conditions quickly enough. It, it's it's hard to replicate that uh, those type of conditions here yeah, in Edinburgh. And now that we've had you know two freshmen and a sophomore, uh, actually we had two sophomores and two freshmen play it, and a junior. So if we go back next year, I think they'll know what to expect a little bit better. But you know some of them have never played in in thick rye grass and and bent grass greens and with the elevation changes. So. While I'm disappointed with, with what we shot and where we finished, I have higher expectations for next year. Uh, so far throughout this fall, you've played a lot of tournaments. Uh, you talked about the two freshmen and the two sophomores. Uh, how does such a, a heavy schedule in the fall help them prepare for the spring? Uh, the freshmen need it. You know, the freshmen are, are cutting their teeth as far as college golf goes. and. They need to get as many rounds in as possible. I, I've been fortunate enough to have them qualify for, for each event, so uh, very pleased with the amount of experience that they've gotten. I mean, they're, they're essentially going to be veterans going into the spring after five events in the fall and five in quick succession. I think they're, they're learning how to balance schoolwork, they're learning how to balance practice, and then obviously they're learning what the level of play is like at, at the collegiate level and what's necessary. So. You know, I, I think they've uh, they've adjusted well. They've noticed that conditioning is is a little bit more important than it is at the junior level, and they've taken some steps towards that. Uh, you know, initially balancing their time. You know, again, they had to learn some lessons, but I think they've they've got it now, and so it should be smooth sailing. I, I think one of the best things as a freshman is to jump right in and to get after it, and these guys have done a great job. So the, the sooner you get a freshman up to speed, the better. And these two are, are right up to speed now. And uh, for, for the sophomore uh, that that uh, is going to be traveling certainly a lot, you know, he's he's played at a high level uh, as an amateur in junior golf, and, and he's ready to go. You know, he won the WAC last year, so he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, the other sophomore, uh, he hasn't had as much experience, but He's getting some, he's working really hard, and you know I think he's going to push for that fifth spot in the spring. Uh, next up, you head up to uh, New Mexico State, uh, some white competition. Uh, do you look forward to, to see where you stand amongst the others? I do. It's important. It's, it's good that we can have this experience in the fall so that we can really say, hey guys, this is where we are going into the spring. And uh, you know, if we if we fare well, it's a confidence boost. And if we don't fare well, it's uh, it's a wake-up call and a realization for for how hard we need to prepare and what we need to do. So either way, we're going to get something positive out of it. You know, if we if we win this tournament or we beat the white competition, uh, the the only thing that that thinking ahead that I need to remind the guys of is is you know let's uh, let's not get overconfident. If anything, that's that's gonna make their coach want to work them harder and make their coach want to prepare them so uh, either way you know we've got to keep the big picture in mind and that at the, the conference is at the end of the season and, and this is a chance to measure ourselves against those guys.